Today we're going to demo LazyFeed at LazyFeed.com. LazyFeed is a feed engine that's based on topics, not on feeds or on people, much like other RSS readers. To sign in at LazyFeed.com, put in your ID, such as your email address, mine is lewisgray at mac.com, and your password. Sign into LazyFeed and it will automatically check everything you've predisposed to put your details in. Look first you have your hot topics. These are pulled from Twitter hashtags and other tags from around the web. First thing you'll notice from Lazy Feed is you'll have a number of topics which you've pre-selected, assuming this is your second time here. If this is a first time here, you want to connect a site by putting your cr credentials for Twitter, Flickr, Delicious, or a blog directly into the site. For example, if you have a blog at lewisgray.com, you put in the URL, hit connect, and you're good to go. What Lazy Feed is going to do in the background is find all the tags for your recent posts and add them to your feeds. Notice on the left side I have a number of feeds here, everything from Microsoft to Facebook to social networking. When I select Microsoft, I get to see all recent blog posts in real time, how recently they were posted, their source, and other tags. Notice how this one has Microsoft, Business, Bonds, and others. It's also going to show those items which are related to Microsoft. For instance, Windows 7. I don't have Windows 7 as a tag today in my lazy feed, but if I wanted to, I could simply add that by clicking Add right up here in that navigation bar. Windows 7, you'll notice, gets populated right in my real-time stream. This real-time stream is ordered chronologically, so I have the most posts from iPhone, Twitter, Google, and Apple having just come in, and those which get updated less frequently, such as Gmail, Technorati, LinkedIn, and others, are down at the bottom. You can see I've selected many different ones over time. This gets built not only for my own Twitter credentials and my blog credentials, but those that I put in manually. For example, if I chose to get updated on baseball, I could just type in baseball up here, click return, and it's going to find all recent blog posts that have come in with the tag of baseball. Now today, Mark Burley of the Chicago White Sox pitched perfect game, so it's no surprise people are talking about it. So you can see a story here. If I want to click on it, click on the story headline, and I get to see a preview of it right here in the site. And I can click Visit to go out to that page. Notice how it jumps right out. This is a fantastic way to find posts about topics that I'm interested in, even if I don't know the original author already. Similarly, I can choose Apple, Apple Computer, of course, and it's going to find similar topics, iPhone, Mac, iPod, News, Microsoft. It's all going to be right here. What about iPhoneLeak.com? I've never heard of these guys, but they just might have stuff that I'm interested in. I can click read the story right within my browser, right within Lazy Feed, find out other things that they've written about previously, or jump out and have a new subscriber to go on to a Google Reader should I choose to do so. iPhoneLeak.com, interesting. So I'm going to click visit, pop right out. So meanwhile, my Lazy Feed continues to update. It says there's new items here for Windows 7. You might remember I didn't read them last time. So I see Windows 7, find out some related topics, read about Firefox 3.7, Windows 7 upgrade FAQ. It all makes sense. It's regular topic-based updates in real time. Notice how these are coming in real time in Lazy Feed. Very cool. Now what if I made a mistake? I didn't really want to get updated on MySpace, right? I can click delete this topic, say yes, and it goes away. Lazy Feed continues to update always, even as I'm reading. So notice Google and Twitter just came in. Constantly the web is being updated and Lazy Feed is the best way that I can find to get topic-based RSS feeds constantly. It's a fantastic option when you compare it to the slow, cantankerous route of Technorati, the feed-based option for Google Reader, and the individual-based option on places like FriendFeed and Facebook. If you haven't got your invite from LazyFeed.com already, reach out to Lewis Gray on Twitter at Lewis Gray, L-O-U-I-S-G-R-A-Y, or on FriendFeed or visit LewisGray.com. And that's your introduction to LazyFeed.